and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2015 Toyota Hilux SR5. We'll start off at the front of the vehicle, we'll run you through the condition and also some of the main features as well. As you can see at the front of the car, you, you'll, you get that really nice styled grille that the Hilux is known to have. You also have your fog lights down the bottom and you also have these really nice daytime running lights that go all the way around in the front of those really nice headlights as well. Now the headlights themselves actually do have the Hilux badging integrated in the headlight, which is a nice feature to add. Now the front of the car for 2015, there are no major stone chips or anything that are worth pointing out, really good condition on the front of the vehicle. We'll come around and we'll look at our first alloy, alloy wheel. As you can see, pretty much an unmarked alloy wheel other than it needing a clean, really good condition. And then on these tires as well, you've got plenty of life left on them as well. You do get color coded, oh sorry, you do get chrome mirrors and chrome door handles and as you can see you also have the chrome Hilux badging just underneath. Now with the mirrors themselves they actually do have the indicator integrated into the actual mirror itself. Now most manufacturers are going these, uh, this way these days to actually clean up the uh, quarter panel and just give the car a nicer look. Now with the chrome door handles themselves they actually do have the keyless entry on it so as you can see now the door is actually uh, open. Clicking this button here will actually lock the car and as you can see the car is actually locked. Clicking the button again one lock the car and then you can get back into the vehicle. Now taking a look inside the driver's compartment, remembering this is a 2015, you can just see how well the leather on the seats uh, is presented. There are no major marks on itself. You can tell that the carpet's been looked after because there are all rubber floor mats for the whole vehicle. You do get the scuff plate here as well to minimize most of the scuffing in the actual door jams themselves. And the actual door, uh, the previous owner hasn't been lazy and kicked it open like most of us do. Now closing that up, and we'll continue working our way down the vehicle. As you'll see, you do have the side step fitted as well, so it is going to make getting in and out of the car a lot easier. Chrome hand door handles work its way to the back as well. You also do have the ARB roof tray as well. Looking at our second alloy wheel, as you can see, again, another unmarked alloy wheel with really good tread on the tyres as well, so both sides of the vehicle, fantastic tread on the tyres. We'll come around to the back of the vehicle, where I've actually left the uh, tailgate open, but that's all right, we can show you inside the car. So we'll quickly show you inside. As you can see, you do get these pretty fancy boxes in the back of the car. As I mentioned, all your genuine floor mats. Take a look in the boxes real quick. As you can see, plenty of storage in the actual boxes themselves. So really good setup by the previous owner there. You also do have the tow pack fitted as well. And there is a factory reverse camera in the actual uh, tailgate itself as well, which is a really good feature to have. We'll keep working our way around to the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, note the paintwork on the passenger side is just as good as the driver's side. Your fuel door is on the passenger side, so that is the safe side of the vehicle. So if you did need to ever fill up, at least you know you'd be on the safe side. Again, another unmarked alloy wheel with really good tread on the tyres. We'll keep working our way down. Chrome door handles on the passenger side as well, and the side step as, as well. And then coming to the fourth and final wheel, as you can see, an un another unmarked alloy wheel with fantastic tread on the tyre as well. So as you can see guys, with the exterior condition of the vehicle, previous owners done a fantastic job of maintaining the exterior. All right guys, now taking a look underneath the bonnet. So what we have here is a 2.8 four-cylinder turbo diesel engine producing 130 kilowatts and also 450 newton meters of torque. You do get a six-speed sports auto automatic in this vehicle. You also have a really good sized fuel tank, 80 litres, that you can, uh, sorry, that it is diesel obviously, that you will average around 8.5 litres to the 100 k. so really good fuel average. So out of a maximum fuel distance, or we'll go off on average, you're going to get around 941 kilometres out of that 80 litre tank, so a fantastic fuel economy for the car of this size. Let's now take a look inside the SR5, starting off with the driver's side door. As you can see, you do have all your power window controls. Now, the good thing about the windows is they're all automatic, and that's up and down. So every single uh, window in the car, you can actually pull down automatically. You also have all your central locking, button here to lock the windows as well, and then all your mirror controls. Now, you can actually fold these mirrors in. So if you are parking on the side of the road and you don't want to get your mirrors taken off, you can do so as well. Now, behind the steering wheel, you have your red arc brake controller, so to tow the full three and a half ton, you will need this. And then you also have this idle light button, so that's just going to make the car um, idle a bit higher, so it warms up the car a bit quicker. Now, it is a proximity key, so you do have the push button start. So as long as your foot is on the brake, the key's in the car, you will be able to start the car by just pressing the button. On your right-hand stalk, you have your indicators, your fog lights, and your headlights. Now, the headlights, you can just leave on automatic, and it'll do all the work for you. And on the left-hand stalk, this is where you have your windscreen wipers. 
Now on the steering wheel itself, as you can see, a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. On the right hand side, you've got a couple buttons just to flick through the main entertainment system in the actual center cluster. You have your cruise control down the bottom behind the steering wheel here, as Toyota's had for years and years now. And the left hand side is all your media controls for the main screen. Moving into the main screen now, as you can see, sort of iPad design that uh, Toyota's gone with there. But as you can see, it does have satellite navigation. You do have AM, FM radio, USB and AUX as well. Now, putting it in reverse, as you can see, really nice display reverse camera too. One thing I didn't mention, it does have Bluetooth as well. Now, moving into the climate control, as you can see, all the buttons, all the hard buttons down below for the climate control. You've got your fan speed on the right, temperature on the, sorry, your temperature on the, uh, fan speed on the left, t temperature on the right, and then in the middle is where you have all your directional um, air controls. Just down below, you have two 12 volt sockets here as well. As I mentioned before, your USB and AUX, traction control, down downhill uh, ascent control, and then your rear diff lock as well. Now you do get a little storage compartment down here, two cup holders, your six-speed automatic gearbox. Now, as I mentioned before, it is a six-speed automatic, but you can put into what they call the sport shift and then actually shift through the gears manually. Two different buttons here, so you have eco mode, so obviously that's going to put the car in the most fuel efficient mode it can, and then you have your power mode button as well, which is just going to do the opposite and give you the most power, but obviously you're not going to get as much um, you know, kilometers out of the fuel tank as well. Now, as you can see, there is a nice little, another storage compartment in here, just probably somewhere where you put some coins or something like that. You get your manual handbrake, then inside the actual center console itself, you actually do get a uh, 100 watt power socket, so really good feature that Toyota's actually added in there. And you do get a good amount of storage as well. Now, just behind the uh, driver's or driver and passenger's seats, you actually have the DVD players in the actual headrest themselves. So, a really good feature for the kids. And it does come with uh, headphones and a remote as well. Now, I'm just going to get the camera person to pan around the rest of the interior and show you the condition. With 133,000 kilometers on the odometer, the inside still presents really good. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll jump outside the vehicle and we'll wrap up the video. Guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only the condition, but also some of the main features in the vehicle as well. Now, the number to call if you'd like to book a test drive, 9907055. But just a couple things before I go. Now, this car will qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan, so that's going to give an additional five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection, 10 years of premium roadside assist, and also unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim. Now, of course, this is an additional cost, but if you do use that in-house finance, Julia Mario Business Managers will actually show you how minimal, if you add this package into the finance, it actually affects the payments. And the last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google, and that's out of five, with 970 reviews from our Australia-wide customers, not only can you be assured you're buying a fantastic car, but you're also dealing with the right dealership and the right quality of people to deal with as well. Again, number to call, 9907055. My name is Jamie, and thank you for watching.